Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. In this video, is to bring you a closer look at the Cal Royal number 1003. This is a solid 8 inch center to center pole with a 4x16 plate. And it will ship to you in separate pieces uh, because it, this needs to be separated to install it. So you'll get, let's start with the uh, plate. You're going to get a 4x16 plate. Four by 16. The thickness of the material is 50 thousandths, 0 0.050, and this white film that you see just on the face of the plate itself, of course, is just the peel away protective coating that's on the front of that satin finish stainless steel. 4 by 16 is likely the most common size for a plate. Uh, is just the bottom line. These are, yeah, probably the next common would be a three and a half by 15. And as a rule, but not always, as a general rule, but not always, the size of the plate for the pull handle will match the push that's typically on the other side of the door. Now, I prefer a plate a little bit wider, maybe six inch, because the hand is wider than four inch, um, certainly three and a half. And you'll notice on four or three and a half inch wide plates that there'll be generally wear marks on the outside areas of the plate. I like a little bit bigger plate, maybe a six wide or even an eight inch wide. But the downside of wider plates is that you've got more hardware on the door, which frankly does draw more attention to the hardware itself. So it's a, a balancing act of convenience and, and uh, elegance, I suppose. Uh, then the pull handle itself, that's gonna be eight inch center to center. This is a piece of solid stainless. That's three quarter diameter, three quarter diameter. So this is going to be uh, nine and a half inch overall height. What was I just saying there? Well, forgive me. Eight and three quarter is the overall height. Forgive me. Eight inch center to center plus three eighths and three eighths. Eight and three quarter. Okay. Now it's projection. <clears throat> Clearance between plate and handle is inch and a half, and that's accurate. So it's going to be two and a quarter on the outside. This is not handicap compliant, so keep that in mind. You need to have a two and a half inch clearance between the face of the door or the or the plate that it's attached to, really, uh, and the inside of the handle. So do keep that in mind. That this model is not handicap compliant, but of course we can help you with that. Uh, you're going to get the two through bolts and the finish washers that will go through a typical uh, inch and three quarter thick door. They'll go through the door, through the back side of the plate, and into the tapped, drilled and tapped holes that are here. Okay, you can see how that's gonna work. Then you're gonna get some small oval head screws, plenty for all six instances where they occur on the face of the plate. You want to, um, <clears throat> I generally don't remove the, the protective coating until the hardware is installed um, as a rule. Sometimes you'll get a little bit of it stuck underneath the head of a screw. In that case, what I'll like to do is just loosen the, sc the screw a half revolution, pull the rest of that piece out, then tighten it up. This material can really help save the day, so to speak, if you run a, uh, a, a screwdriver just lightly over the face of it. But I like to have it there in place. There is a link below this video to a document called Cut Sheet, which is very handy because it will give you all of the dimensional properties of the item. talks about everything we've gone over in addition to that giving you the locations of where the screw holes are from the end, three-eighths over three-eighths down so to speak. There's then also a link to a document called product catalog which is very handy as well. Um, and that is really a reference to this item and associated related sister products to this pull handle. So that's handy. You can see in essence the other items that uh, will meet this criteria uh, in this general uh, product range of trim and auxiliary hardware as well. Finally, there's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the uh, 
uh, Cal Royal products that we sell. And by the way, this pull plate weighs 2.3 pounds. So this, this pull handle is it's substantial in its weight. That link below this video to the manufacturer's page will allow you to review not only all of the Cal Royal products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog. I'm partial to Cal Royal, and I have distributed their product for 20 years for sure. And I continue to do so because there's a confluence of important things. Uh, value, quality, prompt, reliable uh, customer service, prompt, reliable, predictable shipping lead times, uh, and they continue to do it over and over. Frankly, there's countless people that you can buy an imported pull handle from. There just are, is the bottom line. But the reason I suggest that you consider Cal Royal is because the aforementioned concepts of uh, the confluence of good value, good quality, and they just get the material shipped out over and over and over again. That's It's a simple transaction, and they keep it very simple. And, uh, and they do so in a way that's... Um, that, that allows value to you, dollar for dollar, and allows value if you're a contractor, or a subcontractor, let's say, who's installing doors and frames in a strip mall. You'll be able to supply good quality, good value products from your distributor to you, to you, to your end user, and everyone feels like it's good quality material and they got a good price on it. And that's the bottom line. Okay. Any questions on the Cal Royal 1003, 8-inch center-to-center stainless steel pull, or any other pull plate, I should say, or any other Cal Royal product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.